thousands of volunteers united for a global peace event. Volunteer team of airport guides, drivers, interpreters, media, medical security and installation dedicated to the safe and successful international event. A grand scale peace event was held in South Korea from September 18 to 20 with stable operation and participant satisfaction. Themed implementation of multidimensional strategies for institutional peace, the world peace event hosted by Heavenly Culture, World Peace Restoration of Light, with the contribution of 2,000 volunteers was set to the welcome over 800 global leaders from 121 countries representing diverse sector including politics education youth women media and religion from around the globe at the heart of this grand occasion was the dedicated airport team working tirelessly to ensure the smooth arrival and departure of participants their responsibilities spanned from issuing visas to ticketing granted the safety of participants and even handling unforeseen flight disruptions in their unvarying commitment to safety and order they left no stone unturned to ensure a seamless airport experience for all the skilled drivers from the hwpl convey team as another group of volunteers undertook meticulous vehicles inspections to transport the participants with comfort and safety. Their professionalism and dedication left a lasting impression on visitors. The total distance driven by volunteer drivers during the event was approximately 8 lakh kilometers or spinning 20 times of the globe. Volunteers interpreters also played a vital role in facilitating communication in sessions of the submit. Their commitment to connecting communications ensured a meaningful experience for all involved. All of the 800 guests participating in over 30 sessions require interpreters require interpretation and all materials have to be translated into over 20 languages not only private organizations but also most national forums do not operate on such a large scale our hwpl interpretation and translation volunteers are carrying out this entire process said a volunteer interpreter the broadcast media team consisting of 208 volunteers worked to capture and convey the essence of the submit to a global audience i believe that our videos serve as a powerful tool for spreading a culture of peace making this event accessible to people around the world in various languages said a volunteer all staff in the security department which is responsible for the safety of personnel are not professional security guards but volunteers made up of able-bodied men and women who have gathered for peace in relation to this deputy journal manager of the security department said for the event about 400 security departments member received continuously education and training starting in March with actual simulation. The installation team was responsible for the critical infrastructure necessary to make the event a success. They handled electrical setup, stage installation and maintenance throughout the event, ensuring a seamless experience for attendees. All of these volunteers driven by their passion for peace are working tirelessly to support the peace submit and their unwearing commitment is truly remarkable we hwpl would like to appreciate their dedication and hope that the government will support this peace movement said a hwpl official hwpl a south korea based international peace ngo affiliated with the un ecosoc and the un dgc has carried out global peace movements for world peace and cessation of war since its foundation in 2013 south korea recently suffered from the recent 2023 world scout jamboard with global participants with poor management and apology from the government 
Greetings and welcome to everyone to the 2023 HWPL Global Peace Leaders Conference. My name is Daniel Lowe and I'm the MC for today's session. Let us welcome IPYG General Director Chung Yeon Min with a big warm round of applause. We are the heroes of this world of peace that we are shaping. We are the ones who will create this world of peace. We are the ones who will experience the benefits of this peaceful world. And we are the ones who will safeguard this world to pass on to future generations. And next, we will have a commemorative message from Ms. Yoon Hyun Suk, Chairwoman of IWPG. Greetings, global peace leaders. I am Yoon Hyun Suk, Chairwoman of IWPG. As I see everyone here today, it reminds me of the moment when peace leaders from all over the world gathered in 2014 to sign the agreement to propose for the establishment of international law for cessation of war and world peace. We have gathered together with one single purpose. We have come together under the name HWPL. For the past nine years, HWPL has been striving to achieve peace with the International Peace Youth Group and the International Women's Peace Group as its two wings. At this time, let us welcome Chairman Lee Man Hee with a big round of applause. <laughs> The work that we must do is to achieve peace and leave it as a legacy for the future generations. We cannot do this if we're dead. We have to do this while we're alive. Next, we will have the HWPL Peace Award Ceremony. His Excellency, Mr. Umar Keita. The Most Reverend Antonio J. Ledesma. Following this, there is an MOU signing ceremony. We are one! Yes, thank you very much. This, this concludes the 2023 HWPL Global Peace Leaders Conference.